Casino Fire in Monterrey, Mexico horrified all the Mexican people there. I mean, they were just getting used to watching people get their heads cut off and all these massacres. Now, why did they let this casino on fire? Let's get into this video. Drugs, money, mansions, and private jets. A myth is being created around the narco culture. Narco culture has gone mainstream and can be seen in various areas like music, religion, soap operas, fashion, and language. But it's not all the pretty roses people like to see. Join me as I tell you the truth behind cartel life. This is narco culture. Hey, what's up guys? My name is JC. I am Wrong and Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my team, mi familia, mi raza, Suelta la Suburban, we're about to take a ride. What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Cartel Life, brought to you by JC. What's up, guys? On August 2011, at exactly 2 p.m., 12 members of the Seta Cartel had a meeting at a local restaurant. Sat down, had some food. They were about to carry out an attack, a mission. Yeah, it was about to get really, really bad fast. The owner of this casino was not paying what they had agreed on. You know, extortion is really, really big in Mexico, especially with the cartels. It gets expensive to be successful in Mexico because then you have to pay to the higher ups that control the city. At 3 p.m., they stopped at a gas station a couple blocks from the casino. By 3.50, a convoy of vehicles was pulling up in front of the hotel casino. As you can see, It took them a little bit of a, it took them a second to get regroup and in front. This is where, if you notice that black truck trying to like, didn't really know what was going on, if he should go, you know, or stay in the street or pull in. They were waiting for the traffic to clear out from in front of the hotel and then that's when the guy controlling the situation pulled in and got everybody lined up. The men storm the casino, and at this point, people are running for their lives pretty much. They already know what time it is. Then the crazy part starts is when the gunmen start putting, pouring gasoline inside of the casino and just set it on fire. Yeah, just, just like that. Leaving Dozens trapped inside because they locked the doors. In only three minutes, the Seta cartel members burned down the casino, jumped into their cars, and got away. By the morning, the authorities had confirmed that 52 victims had died. Most of the 52 were actually middle-aged women to so have fun. They were there gambling with their friends. They were there just to have fun. Mexican police later arrested the main hitman that ran this operation in his higher up. His nickname, El Mataperros, dog killer, and 17 others were arrested. I mean, God only knows how many people have died or lost their lives since a lot of these murders started happening over the cartel wars. I mean, to tell you the truth, Mexico is is not releasing the info. It, it's there's it's nowhere to be found and. The numbers are, are probably very, very high. Monterrey, Mexico is a beautiful, beautiful city. I've lived there before. I actually have some cool stories from Monterrey. Um, a lot of people don't know, but I have family there in Colonia Valle Verde. And when I was a kid, I would get sent to a ranch that's in the middle of Monterrey and Saltillo. It's called Rinconada. I would get sent to a ranch over there with uh, my side of the family that uh, lived in the ranch. And we got up at three in the morning at Piscar Chile, rode my horse. Yeah, <laughs> about that life. At the end of the day, guys, Monterrey is a beautiful, beautiful city. Don't let these stories stop you from going to see or visit your family or, or places. Re remember that if you're into some bad stuff, it doesn't matter if you move to China or, or go anywhere, it's, it's gonna find you if that's what you're into. It's gonna take a lot of work for us to be able to change things because of how bad we've let them get out of hand. Being rich, 
being famous, being successful, having knowledge, getting stronger. These are all outcomes of something specific that you need to do and have, and that's, that's courage. Everybody has it, everybody has it. It's courage that gives you something to build on. Every time you do something new or you fail at something, it takes courage to do it again and again. The courage to say, I want to change. The courage to say, I don't want to be in a gang no more. The courage to say, I don't want to sell drugs no more. I want to go back to school. That house you live in, someone took the courage to build it. That pastor that gave up work to work for God, that took courage. Hey, and as a side note, it's not easy, man. It's not. I would be lying to you if I said it was, but it took courage. Courage to know that fear becomes progress. Being nervous transforms into being excited. And what you use and what used to make you like feel bad and, and guilty is the fire that wakes you up every day. So fail and, and fail fast and hard so that way you could start winning. Don't don't stand there. Have courage. Take the courage to not drink today. Take the courage to not get high today. It's time, don't you think? Courage. It's time to think about what you want and what you want to be. That is courage. I want to give a shout out to all the pastors out there in the hoods, you know, putting in the work, especially Pastor Gus and uh, Fire and Water Church. They looked out for me when I when I first went in. Um, I used to get a, a monthly letter from them every month, and it just made made my day. And and they planted a seed that you know, uh, 15 years later, I would I would come later to uh, be a part of. And I just want to give them a huge shout out. That church is is needed there. There's a lot of halfway houses in that area. There's a lot of rehab centers. There's a lot of people that are, are sick and, and need to hear and be around good people. God is good. My name is JC. I am Ron Strong. Don't judge nobody. Stay in your lane. Live savage. And remember, you only have one life to live. Live it out here free, not gangbanging, not doing drugs, not depressed. Take care of yourself, man. I love you. Be Ron Strong.